Welcome to this JTAG Live presentation. We have already talked about the Buzz application and the Clip application. This time we're going to discuss Script. Script is a Python based boundary scan test development tool where you can use the Python language to develop your own boundary scan test. Uh, Python is an open source language. A lot of information can be found online about Python. Just go to www.python.org. You can also go to the online help within JTAG Live to get boundary scan specific Python information. Um, script allows you to do anything in Python, boundary scan or not. So let's just do a, a simple command here, such as Hello world. And then hit the run button. It'll go out, uh, initialize, and then print the statement, hello world. Um, so any Python code here, obviously we didn't do anything with the board, um, but uh, anything that you can do in the Python language, you can uh, do here. This includes four loops. Just quickly uh, type in some commands here in Python. Um, print uh, i. So we're just going to count uh, in the Python language. It counts from zero to two, prints the value, and then prints hello world up here and say run. It now uh, prints hello world, prints the value, and completes uh, the test. So to get a little more interesting, let's uh, do some testing of the board itself. For doing that, we need the JTAG functional test modules that we'll import here. And then we can, we'll just leave that print statement there. This gives us the ability to drive signals high. We'll drive U200, pin 52. And we'll drive low, U200. In 53, um, and then we can uh, get some values off the board and print those. So we'll print output of U200 pin 27. Uh, get the variable u200.27 uh, that's pin 27 like so so if we can clean up the screen here a little bit maybe be able to see uh, what's going on here so I just left that in here we have pre-built functional uh, JTAG functional test modules that we're importing that allow us to drive pins high, pin low, and then we can get a variable, uh, a pin number from um, from the board and print that out uh, with this uh, comment here. Made a mistake here. Let's see. There we go. And add another parentheses here at the end. Now we can run this. It'll print the hello world uh, 012, drive the pins high and low, and then print out the comment and get the value of U200 pin 27. So with Python, you can uh, toggle and drive, sense any pin, any boundary scan pin on the board. The real power of this comes when you start using Python modules for models of 
the devices. So I'm going to create a module for the decoder that we tested in the other application that we had generated earlier for a clip. I'm just going to create a my decoder cluster. Cluster is our word for any uh, digital logic on your board that doesn't have boundary scan like the 138 decoder that we talked about earlier. We can bind this to a module that is a Python module that describes the function of the chip and we can uh, edit that module and take a look at it. Let's start at the bottom here. It starts out with a list of pin names and pin numbers. That is uh, the pin names of the device that we're testing and the pin numbers of the boundary scan chip that we're using to test that device. We can group them into buses, uh, the address part of the decoder, the output of the decoder, and the select pins or the enable pins of the decoder. Then we have a Python module here that called test device. It counts from uh, 0 to 7. That is uh, the counter on the input of the decoder is going from 0 to 7 to toggle the 8 outputs of the 138 decoder. Um, so here we're using the select to enable. This is a cluster input group called select defined down here. Uh, that's the input pattern to turn the chip on. And then we can drive uh, the address with uh, the counting value. And then J is going to be the output value. This is just an uh, equation that describes uh, the binary output pattern of the 138 controller. And then we're going to test the output group called output to make sure it's at that correct value. Uh, and that returns uh, 0 if it passes. Uh, if it's any other number, that means it's a failure. So we're just going to output that uh, value and say the outputs are fine. Otherwise, we're uh, going to say they're not equal. And here you can see that we're going to print out in binary form the input and output value to let the user know uh, what the failed uh, pattern was. Let's close that. Now one more thing that we have to do here, as you can see there's uh, functions built into the module called test device. You can have more than one function, uh, groups of pins, and then these uh, variables are the actual pins themselves. And a the little yellow triangle with an exclamation mark means that they're not attached to one of these devices on the board. So I come over here and say resolve and now it's asking me um, to say which device we're going to be connected to. So we're going to be connected up to U500 and now you can see here the little yellow warning triangle is now gone on that uh, display here. So now we've incorporated a Python module that describes the 138 decoder chip on the board. We've now um, connected that to U500 on this board. And now um, I'll just append this to the code that we already have here. We can go to my decoder And in there, there's a something called test device. And so that will bring in uh, the test device section of my decoder and run it. Uh, to actually bring in the cluster module, we have to say up here from clusters, that's this name right here, import my decoder right here. You can add additional clusters here, um, so my decoder could be uh, just uh, one of several devices on the board that you're testing that could all be connected on the board. Um, you can quite get quite elaborate with this and be able to uh, test large sections of your board. So now I'll come over here and tell it to run, and you can see that it has now done everything. 
counting the numbers, printing hello world, uh, setting those values, and reading U200 pin 27, and then it counted 0 through 7, and you can see the outputs are um, it's kind of a walking zero pattern here on the decoder. Uh, if you look at the data sheet, um, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And so this shows that the, the outputs of the decoder are working correctly and the test has passed. So I hope this short video gives you an idea of uh, the power of the script module in the JTAG Live product. It allows you to use the complete Python language to test your board. Um, please go to jtaglive.com and order your software today. Thank you.